Okay, so I picked up um, some predatory mites called um, Persimilis, uh, and they are predators against okay. the two-spotted spider yeah, mite, which is considered the number one pest um, in strawberry here in Ventura County. Um, and on these plants, we do have two-spotted spider mite. So to try to knock down the populations, we're just going to be releasing some of these predatory mites. And what they're going to do is they're going to go around um, and they're going to eat the two-spotted spider mite. The females will lay eggs and then that next population will then emerge and then again consume the two-spotted spider mite. And hopefully that can knock down the um, population so that we don't have to spray. Okay, so we're looking at the little, what are they called, Anna, please? Um, Persimilis. Okay. So some of the um, symptoms of mite feeding damage are that the leaves kind of get a little bit yellow. So you can see the, um, the color difference if you look at, say, this leaf right here. This one's a bit more green than this one on my left-hand side. And then if you turn it over, you can see there's a bunch of dust and there's um, some webbing on there. So the webbing attracts a lot of the dust. Okay. And of course the dust can change transpiration on the leaf. And so um, the plant's gonna have a little bit harder time. And as the mites are feeding, they're also killing off those individual cells. So you'll get parts of the plant that just start dying and eventually the leaf is gonna get dry and old. Um, here's a plant that had a lot of mite damage. So if you pull some of these leaves, you can see like even some of these newer ones have a ton of um, webbing and dust. So typically those are signs that you have mites. Okay. You know, because it's the ladies laying the, the eggs. So what you want to do is like put a little bit of it here in the crowns of the plants. In the crowns. And then they'll just like walk up through the plants. Again, you don't have to do them on, on all of them. Just try to get like a good perimeter so that they can walk from plant to plant. 